Hi, Brent Tech here. Where tech is made simple. So Google is busy rolling out Chrome version 117, which is now our latest stable release. And after the update has been installed, version and build of the browser is been bumped up to 117.0.5938.62 or 63. And that's depending on what platform you're using, Mac, Windows, or Linux. 62 or 63, either or, your browser is up to date. Now, this update rolled out on the 12th, which was yesterday, late yesterday in my region. And and first of all, focusing on the security fixes that have rolled out. We get 16 security fixes in total. And the first is the critical CVE that I've been posting on quite in depth over the last couple of days. That's the CVE 20234863. That's the heat buffer overflow in WebP vulnerability that's been rolling out as an emergency update because that has already been exploited in the wild. So it's a zero day and it's out there and it's happening and it's active. So um, obviously Google is pushing the same security fix now out with version 117 just to obviously make double sure that everybody gets the security fix because it's quite an important uh, security fix. And um, so that's the critical security vulnerability heap buffer overflow and WebP being addressed. And the other 15 security fixes that have rolled out, six of those address medium vulnerabilities and the other are a couple of low vulnerabilities that have been patched. So 16 security fixes been made available in version 117 one of those already exploited in the wild so double check your browsers up to date now with the security side of things out of the way just to focus on what's new in version 117 now this is quite a big update for um chrome because um this month it's google chrome's 15th birthday as i posted last week and because of this now google is starting to push out the material you visual redesign changes that are part of the ui refresh 2023 that I have been posting on over the last couple of months. They're pushing that out a lot more now with version 117, and it is becoming more widely available, and that's to celebrate their 15th birthday. Now, although it is becoming more widely available, it is still on a controlled rollout. So as you can see, um, everything still looks exactly like it did when I was still running version 116. And um, I've checked on both my browsers and I'm not seeing any of the visual redesign changes yet in the stable version with, with version 117. But nonetheless, if you are like me and find yourself in the same boat, then if you want to um, apply those visual redesign changes before um, they officially roll out in your region, it's actually quite simple to do. And to do this, we head up to the Omnibox, we enter Chrome colon forward slash forward slash flags, and we enable two experimental flags, which we can bring up by just typing in refresh and the first flag is chrome refresh 2023 enables the new desktop design and the other is chrome web ui refresh 2023 enables chrome refresh 2023 styles for various web ui services we change both of those to enabled and then we will have to relaunch version 117 to apply those flags and now with both flags applied you can see now things looking a little bit different um especially at the top of the browser now just to walk through this um, a little bit, um, kind of from left to right, just to give you a general idea, because I have posted quite a lot of content, and the playlist um, will be in the end screen for the Refresh 2023 if you want more info. Now, starting from left to right, um, the tab search, search tabs has been moved to the left. And uh, this used to be uh, in the top right and has now made its way to the top left. And we can also see that the actual search tabs a button has received a bit of material U padding uh, around that upside down chevron. So that's been moved from right to left. Uh, the new tab has received a bit of a material U a visual redesign. The navigation icons and buttons have also had a, had a bit of a refresh and makeover. Uh, moving to the toolbar in the top right, the extensions button uh, is now see-through, where previously this was solid and it looks a little bit more modern. And um, if we click on that, and we head over to our Manage Extensions page, our home page for extensions. There's also a bit of a material U visual redesign that's taking place on this page. First of all, the search is a lot thicker and larger. The menu items here to the left have, have received a couple of material U changes. And this Chrome Web Store has been moved from the bottom left here to the uh, top left. So the extensions home page has also received a couple of changes and I actually posted on that just a day or so ago. Then carrying on, um, just to give you a general idea, if we head to the show site panel, that button has also received a bit of a refresh and 
um, if we head to customize Chrome, a little bit of updates going on here. Um, first of all, we get these presets for light, dark, and device default, which I think is a nice move in the right direction. Uh, the browser colors now have also been upgraded, and the buttons have actually received a bit of material U padding. And you'll notice when you apply these uh, browser colors that the colors are a lot darker than they were uh, previously. So um, the browser theme, those color changes now have taken on a much more darker look and feel um, compared to how they were in version 116 as an example. And I just want to get this theme back to where it was. There we go. And you can actually see now where that theme changed. And if I just head back and I apply the default, you can see that is a lot darker than it was previously. So um, that's a bit of an, a if you want to call that an improvement, um, the darker browser themes. And then moving on, um, if we head to the main menu, quite a lot going on here. We can see that the iconography for all the menu items has now finally arrived. There's a lot more padding between the main menu items. We get our profile now to help manage our account and our profile now in the main menu. Uh, you've got password and autofill, your extensions is there, you've got translate um, and so on. So main menu has received quite a visual uh, redesign and a couple of improvements rolling out there. So that's just a quick overview, guys. Um, I have posted a lot of content. That playlist will be in the end screen as mentioned. So go check that out if you want some more info. Now moving on, because I don't want to be here all day. Um, there's also a redesigned Chrome Web Store. So if we head back to our extensions and we head over to the Chrome Web Store. I've posted on this just a couple of days ago. You'll see it to the top left. Try out the new experience. So if you click on that, you'll see I'm um, taking on the visual redesign now that Google is applying to a lot of their services like Gmail and um, all the other online services. So um, that more material you modern look and feel has now also made its way into the Chrome Web Store, which, as I've said previously, I think is a nice move. And I actually think this operates and is a lot more practical and looks a lot better. And by the way, if you want to just put everything back, you can revert to the original store by clicking on that button and that menu. And there we go. Everything has been placed back. So Chrome Web Store um, is, has also been visually redesigned with version 117. Then moving on to another, and um, this is the Privacy Sandbox, which is still on a controlled rollout, but is becoming more widely available. Now, if we just head over to our settings, privacy and security, add privacy. So this is a Privacy Sandbox feature um, that is used to customize the info used by sites to show you ads. And I have touched on this the other day, but just quickly for this video, um, Google Basically, and a lot of other browsers are phasing out third-party cookies, which can track um, you across different websites to show um, you different advertising, as many of you may know. And this is part of that, where they are introducing this privacy sandbox, which has been met with a lot of controversy and debate. But nonetheless, just to go through this quickly, you've got ad topics, site-suggested ads, ad measurements. So you've got the, the option to turn these different features on and off. Site-suggested ads, you get the idea and add measurement you get the idea and basically what this does is uh, it's putting you into a group uh, instead of identifying you as an individual so what google is saying with this privacy sandbox is you are never identified as an individual regarding the advertising you are sent but you are, are identified as a group so that's the gist of it but nonetheless they are making this um uh, privacy sandbox a lot more widely available and that's obviously because of the third party cookie phase out now while we are talking about the uh, third-party cookie phase-out, if we head over to my YouTube channel as an example, another thing that has been rolling out quite uh, quite a lot and is, is becoming more widely available is um, we get this third-party cookies blocking icon now, which is a, a crossed-out R icon. And if we click on that, it tells you how many um, third-party cookies are blocked. So basically, uh, Google is just bringing this to your attention and I've posted on this previously, so you can do a search on the channel. So that's also a little bit of an improvement that seems to be making its way more into uh, Google Chrome. And over and above that, um, we get this HTTPS lock icon now that's been replaced with the Chrome UR refresh. Now, previously, there used to be a lock, a lock icon here to the left of the URL in the address bar. And as you can see, that's been replaced with this like slider 
with a circle around it. And these, um, the reason Google has, did this was because they said the lock icon was confusing when it comes to the security of a website. And this just makes it a lot more practical. And although the lock icon, security icon, has been replaced with this um, little slider button, um, the options and the security um, labels and so on in the actual menu are more or less exactly the same. So um, Chrome version 117 is also now getting rid of the HTTPS lock, lock icon in the address bar. And then moving on, um, quite a lot going on. And just to mention this quickly, because I don't want to make this video too long, um, um, Google has introduced tab groups quite a while ago. And if you want to um, enable saving your tab groups and also syncing your tab groups, there is a flag called tab groups save. And I'll leave that down below in the description. You can enable that um, to have more control of your tab group syncing. And if you are interested in that, you can go enable that flag, tab group save, and that will um, just give you um, being able to save your different um, tabs into um, groups and those will be synced across your different browsing sessions across your different devices if you are signed in um, with the same Google account and that's more or less what's new in version 117 there are a lot of developer improvements that are taking place under the hood so to speak and um, I don't think your everyday home user would be really interested in those and, uh, and as mentioned the big one here is that the Chrome UI refresh is starting to become more widely available. And as mentioned, if you aren't seeing it, just apply those two flags. And um, version 118, which will be our next stable release, is rolling out in three weeks. And that will be on the 4th of October this year, 2023. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.